Oliver Wilson was listed as John Doe number 191. She was convicted of murder more than 20 years ago, but tonight attorneys fighting for a battered woman's freedom say there's a lot we haven't heard about her story of abuse and desperation. Debbie Piegler was 15 when she first met Oliver Wilson. I thought, hmm, he's kind of cute. <laughs> Oliver was a hustler. You can pimp your mama, pimp your daughter. You can't have no sympathy. He was just kicking me and kicking me. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, I promise, I promise, I'll do it, I promise, I'll do it next time, I promise, I promise, just please don't hit me no more. Debbie's mother suggested to Debbie that she let Ramon Sibley and little Timmy Lively make Oliver leave her alone. But I didn't want nobody to kill him, but I wanted somebody to beat the hell out of him. If she had been charged appropriately, she would have served a maximum of six years in prison. Instead, by the time we took her case, she had already been in for 20 years and been denied release by the parole board twice. This is not what we normally do. We do land use, real estate. Heck, I can get you zoned to be an airport if that's what you want. But I don't represent inmates. I don't represent people charged with crimes. I don't represent criminals. How do you go about finding hospital records, police records, witnesses from 25 years ago? He lied. He perjured himself on the stand, and the DA's office has kept it secret. That, that matters under civil litigations. We're not going to discuss that. Get me out of here. Free Debbie now. Free Debbie The victim's now. family has no objection to her coming home, so who are you to keep her in there? The hundreds of thousands of dollars or three years of time, this will all be for naught if we give up now. A deal is in the works that would have finally set her free, but there may be a snag. If we are able to secure her freedom, then what it says to me is that there is hope.